is a makeup tutorial on this look. It's a nice deep, almost purple, almost purple smoky eye with a pop of royal blue in the waterline. I'm not sure if you can tell so much on camera, but in person you can really see the pop of blue. I used mainly the Morphe 35K palette that I hadn't gotten a chance to use and I love it. So creamy, so buttery, so smooth. I love it. But I did use one eyeshadow in this palette. This is the Morphe 35P. And I pretty much just use this dark brownish purpley shadow. But mostly I use the other palette just I needed that one shadow from this palette, but of course you use whatever shadows you have at home that are similar. I also give you two different lip options. One more wearable, which is the one I'm wearing right now. Obviously, this is the one that I would wear, but I thought it would be fun to switch it up and show you like a pop of blue on the lips as well to kind of match the waterline. And I think it looks really, really cool if you're into a more bold look. I'm gonna leave a little time in the description box to tell you like where the tutorial actually starts because really quickly I wanna give you guys my thoughts on the Hourglass Vanish Foundation, I believe that's what it's called because I used it for the first time in the video and I have a few thoughts. So if you actually do not give a rat's ass about this, I will list down below when the tutorial starts. But basically I love this and I hate this. They, I like. I completely, completely love the formula, which I think is the most important thing. Like, I'm wearing it on my face right now, and I didn't need to set it. I mean, I set my T-zone and everywhere I put concealer like I usually do, but I feel like it's not even on my face. It doesn't, it doesn't feel like I'm wearing foundation at all, but it has really amazing coverage. I actually mixed two shades today because I didn't know what my shade was. I didn't think I was going to love another stick foundation the way that I love the Ultra HD Stick from Makeup Forever. That's my favorite foundation stick and oh my gosh, I think I love this one just as much formula-wise. Formula-wise, I think this has an unreal amazing formula. Obviously, I haven't worn it throughout the day because I just put it on and my opinion can 100% change, but it feels so natural on the skin, but it gives you really nice coverage. Now, the part I hate about this this is so ridiculous. This is a $46 foundation, but you only get 0.25 ounces. Th that's re that is that's ridiculous. In most foundations, you get one fluid ounce. This is 0.25, so that's way too much money for what you're getting. And you will go through this very quickly because when I opened it today, it was pretty much at the top, but look how much I've used. And I had used another foundation as well. So that is why I love it and I hate it. I don't know, I don't know. I really can't decide because I love the formula. Like it feels unreal, but wow. I feel like you would go through this like this. So yeah, those are my thoughts. It's kind of wishy-washy, I don't know. I got a lot of questions about this, so I just wanted to update you really quick in the beginning of this video. But anyway, if you want to see how to get this look, then just keep watching. So I'm priming my eyelids as usual using the Urban Decay Primer Potion in the shade Enigma and blending that in with my finger. I am taking the Morphe 35K palette and I'm taking the second shade and I'm using this to set that primer down because it could be a little tacky if I don't set it. Then I'm going to take this color right here and I'm going to use this as my transition shade. I'm taking a big fluffy blending brush and I am just buffing this into my crease, packing that color on little by little and just really diffusing that out. Then I'm going to go into this warm brown shade. This is such a pretty color. I love this eyeshadow. And I am just applying this on the outer corners of my eyes but dragging this into my crease as well. Kind of like the same thing I did with the other shade but more concentrated in the crease. Then I'm going to take the Jordana eyeshadow pencil in the shade Tenacious Brown and I'm applying this on my lid and then I'm going to take this Marc Jacobs eyeshadow brush and I'm really going to buff that color out. This color is a little bit hard to buff out because these are really, really long wearing like chubby sticks. So I really have to take my time blending that out, but I love them, they're amazing. And then I went into the Morphe 35P palette and I took that brown shade and just went directly on top of that all the way up to my crease and just blending that out a bit. This is a brush from Wet n Wild, it's one of their eyeshadow brushes. Now I'm just gonna go back into the 35K palette and use the same eyeshadows I used before and I'm just making sure everything is nice and blended and there are no harsh lines.
I'm going to mix these two first colors right here and I'm using that as my brow bone shade to highlight underneath my brow bone. And then I'm going to move on to the face. I'm using the NYX Angel Veil Primer to prime my face. I'm going to be using the new Hourglass Vanish Foundations. This one is warm ivory, but I thought it might be a little bit too dark. Uh, but I end up going in with the shade Bisque after right on top. But I'm just kind of like dotting this on my face. And then I went in with Bisque. And I'm using the brush that it came with. This was sent to me by Hourglass. But I'm using the brush that they recommend with it. Obviously, you can use whatever brush you want. But I just started to buff this into my face. I really... Well, I mean, I gave you my little review in the beginning of this video. But I don't, I don't, I don't know how to feel. I just, but it feels so good on the skin, though. Oh, I was so impressed buffing this into my skin. Okay. So now I'm going in with the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. This one is in the shade Light. And I'm using this to kind of hide my dark circles a bit and then to highlight my face as well. I'm using a beauty sponge I bought at Ulta. I believe it's from the Ulta brand. It came with two of them. It was like a little sponge duo. So I'm just blending that in and now I'm going to go over it with the RMS Unpowder. I'm going to talk about this a little bit more in my favorites video. But oh my gosh, this powder is amazing. I still love my RCMA the most, but this one is special. I'll talk about it more in another video but I'm just setting my concealer with this powder and now to finish up the eyes I'm taking my NYX Treasury Black Gel Eyeliner in the shade Pitch Black and I'm only tight lining with this I don't want this on my waterline I'm gonna take the in Inglot Gel Eyeliner in the shade number 77 and I'm just applying this really really close to my lashes I don't want to wing but I don't want to leave it bare either for my waterline though I'm taking the Shea Moisture Eyeliner in the shade Blue and I'm Excuse me, I know this is out of focus and it was like focusing on my huge forehead. I'm sorry, not my intention. But I'm just putting that all over my waterline and then I took the 35K palette again, used that same color I used in my crease and I'm buffing that underneath my lower lash line. And then I went into this brown again with a smaller little pencil brush and I am just doing the same thing, buffing this on the lower lash line. I decided to take this OCC Pure Pigment in the shade Royal Blue and with an angled brush I pack that on my lower lash line just to intensify the blue a little bit. I'm mixing these two shades and I'm using that as my inner corner highlight. And then I went in with this Essence Volumizing Mascara and the falsies I used were the Ardell Demi Wispies. To finish off the face, I am taking my Wet n Wild Contour Palette. I'm using the contour side. This is in the shade Dulce de Leche. I love this contour palette. It's amazing. I am contouring with the new Morphe E53 brush. Then I felt like my skin needed a little bit more warmth and bronziness, so I took the BH Cosmetics Satin Bronzer in the shade Totally Tan, and on this fluffy Shiseido like face powder brush, I am just dusting this all over my face and my neck a little bit. For blush, I wanted something pinky but neutral, so I took the NYX Powder Blush in the shade Mauve, this is a blush brush by Sonia Kashuk, and I'm just adding a little bit of this on my cheeks. And then to highlight the tops of my cheekbones, I am using the e.l.f. Baked Blush in the shade Pinktastic. To finish off this look, I'm going in with the more natural lip color or lip option. This is the Essence Lip Liner in the shade In The Nude. Such a beautiful, super, super inexpensive lip liner. I love it. And I'm going over top of it with this gloss right here. This is the new ColourPop Ultra Glossy Lip. And this one is in the shade Fairy Floss. It's one of their sheer formulas. Such a pretty baby nudie pink. But if you want to be a little bit more bold, a cool lip option would be the Too Faced Melted Matte Liquid Lipstick in the shade Who's Zoom In Who. So yeah, that completes this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in my next video. Bye. <laughs> Cold and lonely, chill, baby. You know me, you love me, I'm like your homie. Mm -hmm. You can text me when you get home. Mm -hmm.